Well, hello there. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel, the backyard homesteader, the queen of the five gallon bucket. <laughs> Today I'm gonna explain why I took these sunflower seeds and made seedlings out of them. You see, I have from the summer of 2020, I actually have seeds from a sunflower that I grew and I have a whole bag of seeds. So for those, I would just plant them in ground, except that I do have gophers. And so I tend to put them in grow bags or five gallon buckets. However, these I actually paid for. And I have some, I think it's three sunflowers in the back right now that I'm growing from Sunflower Steep. I'll put a link in the description for that video so you can see. But those we paid, my sister and I shared, 100 seeds, 100 seeds, no, 50 seeds. <laughs> They're like two bucks a seed, but it was a special fundraiser. And um, anyway, I, I learned my lesson. I started those seeds in ground in the uh, gray bags, or excuse me, the grow bags, and they did not germinate. I was so devastated. Actually, I think I just put one seed in there because I really wanted to make sure it was gonna grow. Well. My sister had started seeds because see, normally sunflowers, you don't start, you don't make starts and then replant them. They don't like that. They don't like to be disturbed. However, she had started her seeds under grow light. So I did that. Lesson learned. If you pay for sunflower seeds, you want to do start so that you make sure that you're, um, you have actual seedlings plant start <laughs> that you can put in the ground and that will grow. So I am going to bring you along today and show you I have some supposedly pink and purple sunflowers. We'll see how that goes. Oftentimes you buy those. I got these on Etsy and you buy those and they are just regular old sunflowers. They're not pink and they're not purple. We're going to see if they are, <laughs> but let's, let's get them potted up. Shall we? Here we go. Okay. So here I've got my seedlings. I've up potted them into little solo cup and you'll see that I have little holes on the bottom and then we'll just keep reusing these as we go all right okay so one thing about sunflowers you know they don't like to be disturbed so I'm gonna make a nice deep hole I'm gonna put them in this grow bag here it's out front of my house and normally this is not a very large grow bag it's pretty small normally I would only put one in here but since it's at, the, it's at the front of my house and um, I really don't want them to get large, I'm gonna go ahead and put both of them in here and hopefully um, they'll stay smaller since we are putting two in here. Okay, so I'm just making it nice and deep. Let's see if I can do this while holding this camera. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. All right, let's see here. to take the plant. Normally I would be using my other hand. <laughs> Let's see how, oh no. Well there went that theory. Now all these roots, pretty roots are on the ground. Oh no. All right, so we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, so <laughs> that was an epic fail. That's what happens when you try to um, pull the camera and pot at the same time. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, so there's number one. I'm gonna go ahead and take these um, first leaves. What that means is, oh goodness, there we go. Um, these little leaves right here, you can tell these were the very first leaves. They're on this plant. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. Give this sunflower as much energy as possible. Okay, now let's try this one and see if we can manage to keep it together um, so that it's as happy as it can possibly be nice and deep it'll be a good test to see how it goes okay ouch hold on let's see if I can maneuver this um, okay, so this is the purple one okay okay so there we go there we go. Look at all those pretty roots. Okay, now then, I'm just gonna drop this in here. Press that in there. Hopefully not disturbing 
those roots. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes um, this evening. We'll see if they're all wimpy. We'll check them in the morning and see how they do. Okay, so now then, now let's go in the backyard. I've got a spot. Actually, uh, artichokes just got done. So let's go ahead and put it in that pot and let's see how they do. Let's go. Okay guys, we're in the backyard and we're going to put these last two sunflowers in where the artichokes are now because they're pretty much done. So let's get going. Oh, look, I let this last one, actually there's two of them, go to seed and they make beautiful flowers. Oh, wait until tomorrow. That's gonna be gorgeous. This one, we shall see. So here we go. Um, I actually, because I have other things around them, you see this, this um, artichoke limb, see how it fans way out. So I cut them back so that they don't block the sun for these um, Morong Moon tomato plants I have here. So anyway, okay, so we'll just go ahead and pot it in there. And once um, these artichokes are completely done flowering, then I'll cut back these leaves, cut it down to the dirt. But right now we'll put these um, sunflower starts in with them in the pot. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. <laughs> It is not easy, but I love sharing. And like I said, this will, I'll use this content to help my young adults at Clifford's house, showing them how to have their own backyards, wherever it may be, maybe even on a balcony in an apartment, you never know. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Go ahead and let it out. You see those beautiful roots we got going on there? Okay. Let's see if we can get this on film. Okay, so here we go. We're just gonna plop that down in there so as to not disturb anything. Bring that soil back in. Get rid of this clover. This plant does not need clover in there. <clears throat> All right, get you back in there. Put the soil around you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, a little bit of sun. It'll protect it for now. Cool. Now let's find another spot. I don't know what I'm stepping on on the other side. And get that potted up. Okay. This one doesn't have quite as many roots. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if I can get this in here without it falling apart. Hopefully you can see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. My camera twisted around. This leaf keeps getting in the way. <laughs> oh, look at those worms in there. Okay, nice soil. Okay, so let's go look where I planted um, about three. Let's see, one, two, three, about four more. So let's go. Let's go look real quick, and then we're going to be able to share. Let's see which ones grow best. <laughs> and let's see if they're actually pink and purple. I don't know. The jury's still out. <laughs> okay, so we have one here that I put in this morning. This is on the side where I have my Brussels sprouts. So there's not a ton of sun and sunflowers do love sun. So we'll see how this one does. All right, and then around the corner where the potatoes were, if you remember, I had that one pot where the potatoes rotted or what have you. So I put those here this morning and I'll put some straw in later. It's just that the soil was rather wet 
and I didn't want to have to water again. And when you put the straw down, you want to water it so that it stays down. So I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Where on earth is that last sunflower? <laughs> Check it out, guys. It's always windy here. Look at these sunflowers. They're massive and they're just beating around in the wind. Let me think real quick. Where on earth did I put that other sunflower? Oh, oh my goodness. I don't remember. Oh, do I have another one still? Maybe it's still over here. Let's go check it out. Oh my goodness. Now they're all gone. Where did I put that other one? <laughs> The cilantro's over there, and I just put the one over there, so let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, that's right. <laughs> I got the count right finally. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, for hanging out with me today, and we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, share this, won't you? I'm sure other people like sunflowers. Follow this little journey. I'll have an update for you. And don't forget to check out the Sunflower Steve video that I put in the description. Subscribe, please. Comment and hit that bell. See you later. Bye now.